Please stand for the flag salute. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, students. This is the week of April 5th. I'm Nathaniel Latala. And I'm Ciglali Garcia. Today we will be bringing you the latest school news and weather. And this, this is, is the Quartel Quartel Update. Update. Let's check the weather around Lancaster with Logan. Hello, Quartz Hill. I'm Logan Mies. The weather. Welcome back from spring break. Starting off on Monday, we're going to have a sunny day with a high of 80 and a low of 51. Tuesday is going to be a bit windier with a high of 75 and a low of 48. Wednesday is going to be sunny again with a high of 79 and a low of 53. Thursday, we're going to see some more wind with a high of 78 and a low of 49. Friday and Saturday, it's going to be sunny again, with highs of 83 and a low of 53 and a low of 56. <clears throat> Sunday, it's going to be windy again, with a high of 85 and a low of 58. Thank you so much. Back to you guys. Thank you so much, Logan. Now for some school announcements. In-person academic support ended last Friday, April 2nd. This is because students will not have access to, for, to the campus for in-person instruction. So the academic support from 1.30 to 3 p.m. ended last Friday. Students are encouraged to visit office hours instead to receive academic support. Students will have the opportunity to return to on-campus in-person instruction beginning on Monday, April 12th. Returning to school is optional. Only students who completed the return to campus survey and indicated that they want to return to school will attend in-person classes. Confirmation will be going out early this week. Students will be split into an A and B group and only physically attend class half the week, according to their group. Group assignments will be shown in Power School. Hey, Zilali, we have a student-made segment on baseball. Really? Well, how exciting. Let's see what it's about. Josh and today we'll be talking about the Los Angeles Dodgers. The Dodgers in two weeks will have their first game opening day and Clayton Kershaw will be on the mound for the Dodgers. And the Dodgers have a lot of offense and talented this year. The Rockies unfortunately don't. They have traded their best one of their best players. His name is Arenado, so it'll be very interesting. The Dodgers will have a three game series opening day next in two weeks will be the Colorado Rockies and it will be very interesting and Dodgers have Kershaw on the mound and they will have possibility Trevor Bauer as their second starter for Saturday and then Sunday it might be Walker Bieber. Hey Nathaniel I have a joke why do we tell actors to break a leg? I don't know because every play has a cast. All right, we'll be back after this quick commercial break. Hi there, my name is Kyle Nahar, a part of LockandStock.com with the freshest new product on the market, the key. Okay, but what does it do? Well, I'm glad you asked. Okay, so here. One of our valued customers is coming home after a long day at the factory. But oh no, what's this? Her house is locked. Not to worry though, her key is here to save the day. And this woman is trying to unlock her mail in order to see if she got another eviction notice. Tough luck. And now for just the price of two and a half McChickens, you too can open up any obstacle that gets in your way. Now let's take a look at these fantastic customer reviews. 
is great. Now, we can get home. Call now to get a cool keychain to go through the keyhole so it won't get lost. Wow, doesn't that scenery look so nice? Wouldn't you like to fly through any sky? Well, now you can. Our innovative self-flying airplane allows you to fly through different skies effortlessly. Wow, look at this stalwart town. Our plane can automatically navigate you to some interesting sights. And can you believe this world's sublime nature? Welcome back, students. And hey, Nathaniel, did you know the first item sold on eBay was a broken pen laser? No, I didn't. But did you know that the bronze penny from 1943 is worth $1,700? That's crazy. And now for some news around the AV. A small brush fire burning along the 118 freeway in Simi Valley prompted a partial closure of the highway last Thursday afternoon. The Madeira fire was reported around 1.05 p.m., about 300 yards from the westbound side of the 118 freeway. All westbound lanes of the highway from Madeira to Collins Drive were closed. The inaugural Palmdale Healing and Honor Field is a display of 2020 American flags honoring men and women in the military and first responders in the police, fire department, and medical fields. A tag with the name of the person being honored will be placed on each flag. Organizers hope it can give families comfort during these uncertain times. Well, that puts a wrap on this show. So join us next week for more news. Thank you all for tuning in. I'm Nathaniel Latale. And I'm Sitlali Garcia. And this, this has, has been, been the Quartz Hill, Hill Update.